Now we will learn how to write a basic Java program. Every Java program must have something called a public class, which you can name whatever you want as long as it follows the following name rules. It must start with a letter and not contain spaces or weird characters. So generally just out letters and numbers starts with a letter and actually it is also a good practice to make the first letter capital and then whatever you call that class right here in the code you must name the file the same and every program must also have something called a main method and you have to make sure everything goes in between the brackets that correspond to the class basically every single thing for our purposes for until much later in the course everything goes in between these two brackets and then for now also everything like that we actually do will go in between these two brackets that correspond to the main method and then yeah so as you see currently our program does nothing so now we'll use a print statement to make it do something so a print statement is a statement that prints to the output which in dr java is shown down here so basically if i do system.out.print qwerty and then i compile then i run then qwerty gets printed and make sure java is case sensitive so make sure you make the capital s capital make sure you make the rest of the letters lowercase make sure you put the dots and make sure you put the parentheses and the quotes and the semicolon and we can print as many stuff as we want so basically like that and now it'll print qwerty and asdf ghjkl but sometimes we might not want them to all be in one line so basically the way we do that is we do system.out.println. So if we just do a system.out.println, then it'll create a new line as shown right here. So system.out.println, again, you can see generates a new line. And if we do system.out.println something, then it'll print the thing, then create a new line. So in this example, it prints QWERTY, then it prints ASDFGHJKL, then it prints ABCDEFG, then it prints the new line. And then whatever we print afterward, will get printed on another line. And now, currently we can't print quotes because if we try to print a quote, then like if I want to print a quote between here, then it'll treat this quote as a separate, like as something that separates the text from the rest of the program. So we don't want to do that. So the way you print a quote is just put backslash quote. And now this backslash and quote will be treated as a single character. And when you print it, it'll print QWERTY and then the quotation mark and an ASDFG in this example. And in order to print a backslash, you need two backslashes. So for example, just ABCDEFG and then backslash backslash prints ABCDE with a single, ABCDEFG with a single backslash as shown right here. And you can also print multiple lines with a single print statement. So for example, ABCD backslash N, which is the thing that makes it a new line, and then EFG, 
and now it'll print A B C D, and a new line with an in the new line E F G. Okay, and now you might notice I have some stuff put up here after two forward slashes. Any code put after two forward slashes. is ignored by the Java compiler. So then we can also use these two forward slashes to say, make it so the piece of code is still there, but I don't want it to be executed. So now it doesn't print the ABCD and then EFG on the next line. Okay. And also notice that if we put the two forward slashes inside quotation marks, then the two forward slashes are no longer a comment because the quotation mark, they're inside a quotation mark. So they're treated as part of a quote. Similarly, if I put two forward slashes before the quotation marks, then the quotation marks are treated as part of the comment. And now just as an exercise, do the following, write a print statement that prints backslash quote prints quote. 